What's happening, people? It's the homie Smith, the 400, one half of straight off the Ave. Shout out my co-host, Mr. Dubbins, and this is Mr. Reacts. Got to give a shout out to all our subscribers. Welcome back. You see where we at, baby? Yeah. And uh, if you made it to this video, go ahead, give us a like and subscribe. New content every day. So check it, man. First and foremost, apologies. We ain't really been as steady with the everyday posts. I've been moving, as you can see. New location. We finna decorate it up in here and all that. But I gotta come at you know what I'm saying come at y'all with this video right here, man. The homie Jaden Smith exposes his parents and blames them for a mental disorder. You know, uh, Will Smith kids are uh, pretty unique, um, pretty eccentric, <clears throat> pretty different. And without further ado, man, we finna get into this video. You feel me? Shout out, uh, Culture Spill. Let's get to it, man. Jaden Smith exposes Will and Jada for uh, their fetishes and whatnot. Let's get it. Child, word on the street is that Jaden Smith has continued to spiral, and now he blames his parents, Will and Jada, for his mental problems. I mean, are we really surprised that Will and Jada are to blame? Haven't we been saying this exact thing for years? But Jaden's kind of MIA, and considering that he emancipated from their household at 16 and refused to come back even to do family interviews. Now, that's crazy that they allowed their child to emancipate himself at 16. I know when I got out of my crib at what? Or my mom's crib at like what? Like 18, 19. <clears throat> I wasn't ready for what was out there, but I had to face that because I chose to have a child. That was, that was a different story. But um, look, that's just weird for, uh, you know, I don't really advocate for parents pushing their kids out prior to them being mentally capable of understanding what life is about and how to navigate. But without further ado, let's jump back into it. You know? Okay, anyone who has followed the Smiths knows that Jaden has been acting like his mental health needs some serious attention. For instance, there was a time at the 2018 premiere of Skate Kitchen where Jaden was photographed with an iguana on his shoulder as part of his accessory. And other than that, he's done other weird things like mismatching his shoes, and let's also not forget how his hair has literally worked overtime throughout his life. From locks, afros, cornrows, blonde dye, burgundy dye, green dye, and at some some point Jaden surprised his fans with pink hair in 2019 he also rocked a half shaved head and bleached his eyebrows in fact by the time Jaden took the stage at Coachella 2019 with his pink hair bleached eyebrows and gold plated teeth fans just said he looked like a 60 year old high on something really strong another time Jaden did something pretty weird was in November 2020 when Kendall Jenner threw one hell of a birthday party and invited him among 100 other guests of course Kendall got a lot of backlash for throwing a party in the middle of a pandemic, especially since many of the guests were maskless. But Jaden just took the day when he showed up with an oxygen mask. A freaking oxygen mask. Can it get more tone deaf than that? And do you remember when he posted a video where he recorded himself crying? I mean, we've literally seen Jaden going through phases in his life that are giving mental health issues. And let me not even begin with his mental case tweets like this tweet where Jaden was like, the more time you spend awake, the more time you spend asleep. And when he wrote, just stare in the mirror and cry and you'll be good. Or when he tweeted, if newborn babies could speak, they would be the most intelligent beings on planet Earth. Well, just like people have been speculating, his parents and their weird fetishes are to blame. Now, one of the people who has really tried to expose how Will and Jada have messed up their babies, especially by exposing their fetishes, is Jaguar Wright. They're both bisexual, they do weird things in their house, and young men have left their house screaming to get away from them in their mentorship and we all know that one person who left the house screaming to get away from the mentorship is Jaden's friend August Alsina y'all remember back in 2020 when he claimed that he and Jada had an affair in 2016 saying that it was with Will's full knowledge and permission he gave me his blessing and I I totally gave myself to that relationship <laughs> he said I could clap the cheeks I mean <laughs> what could I do but go balls deep in them cheeks? <laughs> For years of my life, you know, and I truly... <laughs> what type of ish is that, y'all? Damn. And really, really deeply loved and have a ton of love 
for her. Baby, my mom smashing my friend would be enough to mess up my mind. That's and you crazy. know sources close to the family actually confirmed that August's relationship with Jada was one of the things that really messed up Jaden's mind. In addition, something else that probably messed up Jaden is how his parents pretended to be a happy couple in public. But privately, they had been separated for years. Okay, we already suspected that the marriage was a sham, but Jada herself confirmed it when she did that interview not so long ago saying that she and Will had been separated since 2016. All that glitters is not gold. That's it. Jada even said that everybody knew that she was unhappy. And if everybody else knew it, imagine how it felt for Jaden, who had to witness it firsthand. Everybody knew that I was very unhappy, mm -hmm. but just couldn't figure out why because everybody thought how I thought. You've got everything, what Why is wrong you? with you? As a matter of fact, close sources reported that although Jaden and Willow love their mom to no end and take on many of their behaviors and traits, they were kind of relieved when Jada spoke about what was happening because it was really messing with their mental health. According to the insiders, they had seen the attacks that their mom had gotten from all of it and they really hoped people could just move on. Another source said that Will and Jada put their children in a very strange and uncomfortable situation telling the Daily Mail they were constantly asked about their parents and for seven years they had to basically lie to everyone and pretend that everything was perfectly fine when they knew it was not. This made them extremely agitated at times and they would constantly get in fights with each other and with them. According to the source, Jaden Smith in particular found- Look, imagine your mom is smashing somebody in your grade, in your class, on your school bus, like- that's weird. Like, I won't say your school bus because, you know, these is grown men after the, you know, after school. But just to put it in perspective, like your peers, point blank, period, your peers, your mom is smashing your peers. That can't feel good, bro. That. Wow. Found it hard to cope with the issues surrounding his parents' marriage, and they said Jaden has had so many issues with them, and this has always really been hard for him to deal with. Y'all, even before Jada revealed that she and Will had been separated for years, there were already stories circulating about their marriage, including from Will and Jada themselves. Like how Jada told HuffPost Live, I've always told Will, you can do whatever you want as long as you can look at yourself in the mirror and be okay. Because at the end of the day, Will is his own man. I'm here as his partner, but he is his own man. He has to decide who he wants to be, and that's not for me to do for him, or vice versa. And let's not forget that Jada herself specifically said that she never wanted to get married to Will. I was married. under so much pressure, you know, being a young actress, being yeah. young, and, and I was just and like, pregnant. pregnant. And I just, I was just like, I didn't know what to do, but I just knew, I was like, I never wanted to be married. So on one side, Jaden had to put up with his mom saying she didn't want to get married in the first place. And on the other hand, his dad was not willing to let go of the broken marriage because that's crazy. She wanted to be out in them streets. Because <laughs> for him, divorce is never an option. You know what I found? It's like, just divorce can't be an option. Mm -hmm. right? It's really that simple. Mm -hmm. Just If you just remove the option. Mm -hmm. Because if you have the option, one day that person is going to make you want a divorce. In fact, in her bombshell interview with NBC, where Jada revealed that she and Will had actually been separated since 2016, she still said that divorce is still not an option. I made a promise that there will never be a reason for us to get a divorce. We will work through whatever. And I just haven't been able to break that promise. Can you imagine what it's like for Jaden having to deal with such a situation? His parents are openly unhappy and have been separated since 2016, yet they still don't want to go their separate ways. Honestly, what message does that really send? And can you just imagine the things that go through his head trying to understand his parents? Well, you know, when it comes to Will and Jada, it's not just been about their relationship and their fetishes. I mean, one thing I can say, for better or worse, right? Sickness and health, right? Richer for poor, you know, or uh, poor, you know what I mean? All that. <clears throat> it's definitely better or worse. Because, look, man, I mean, they got grounds to terminate this whole thing. But really, it's about the image. It's about the image of the family and the Smiths. Even though it's been tarnished, they just don't want to, like, separate and then break the bread and split it and see who gets what and all that. That's really what it comes down to is the bread, in my opinion. But let's finish this off.
It's how they chose to raise their babies as well. For instance, in an interview with E! News in 2013, Will Smith was asked when was the last time he punished Jaden, and he simply said, we don't do punishment. Then while speaking with Holt Living the same year, Will said, we respect our children the way we would respect any other person. Things like cleaning up their room, you would never tell a full grown adult to clean their room, so we don't tell our kids to clean their rooms. That right there, according to many people, is where the problem began, because the moment you expect babies to reason like adults, they start to lose it. In fact, a lot of people believe that that you don't tell your kids to clean their rooms. Bro, that's like an essential skill. Like you got to be able to clean your room. Like you can't be sleeping in filth, sitting in filth. You feel me? Let alone chores, dishes, you feel me? Uh bathroom, cleaning the toilet, the whole toilet, the the, the base, all that shit, the, the damn shower. Like come on, man. That's that's look that's where the that's where the disorder starts. That's where the disorder starts. You got, you know, they living in a fantasy world for real. That was what probably triggered Jaden's weird behaviors growing up. It was mm -hmm. so bad that in 2013, Jaden decided that he had had enough of his parents and asked for emancipation for his 15th birthday. And that's crazy. And I remember thinking to myself, as devastated as I was, I was like, he's right. Yeah. The time is now. He's right. He's 15. It's time what? for him to leave the house. And you won't believe what Jada's response was when Jaden. He's 15. It's time for him to leave the house. Look, man. <laughs> oh, man. This is crazy said he wanted to be emancipated. I mean, the only explanation that makes sense is that Jada didn't have a problem with Jaden being emancipated and moving out because that would give her and Will more space and freedom for their fetishes. Anyway, as far as what Jaden has said about his mental health, he has actually been open about experiencing depression and anxiety. As a result, Jada eventually introduced her son to psychedelic drugs after they had helped Whoa. her with her own mental health issues. I don't know if they're working because he's reportedly still spiraling. But what do you think? Is he the way he is because of his parents? Let me Look, that boy is definitely the way he is because of his parents and the lack of their parenting. They're not parenting. If they're not making him clean his room, they're not parenting. If they're not, you know, pushing him to be a greater him, they're not parenting. They're not. If they're walking around, you know, if if the mom is humping his friend, this is his boy. This is his homie. And your mom is humping your homie? Man. It's despicable. <laughs> it's it's just it's just it's it's just madness. And then you got Will, you feel me? Allegedly with Dwayne Martin, pumps in a bumps. Pause. You feel what I'm saying? What they saying now? No diddy. You feel me? Like, bro, it's crazy. So yeah, I I I could I could see how he could, you know, have some type of disorder because his parents are off the chain, man. Off the chain. But if you made it to this point in the video, go ahead, give us a like and subscribe. Sound off in the comments how y'all feel about this with Jaden Smith, man. How y'all feel about, you know, Will and Will and Jada's parenting style or lack thereof you feel me like how y'all feel about that let me know man um check it lostoriginco.com shop you feel me run it up run the bag up i ain't asking for no donations i just want y'all to hit the site get the merch we got some new stuff coming now that i done move you feel me I'm, I'm i'm finna put some new merch on the site some new designs on the site we finna focus on business and moving forward I appreciate everybody that tuned in from day one. You feel me? Y'all going to keep following this journey. This is phase two. You feel me? And it ain't, it ain't look, it ain't finna be the last phase. It's just, you know, we progressing, we building, and we doing what we doing. But yeah, man, it's the homie Smith, the 400. This has been Smith, the Reacts. Signing off, man. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Love. All that. Owie.